going on, my swillies? All right, so we got a new update here, guys. It's not posted up on here, but on the Google Play Store, it is posted. So we're going to be going off of that. All right, so we got the 1.342.001. I know it says it on uh, the 41 on the screen, but it is what it is. But if this is the first time you guys have joined the channel, make sure, guys, it's not your last. Make sure you guys are subscribed and make sure that notification bell is a ringing, guys. Yes. And don't forget to drop a like on the video. It helps the YouTube algorithm. All right. So with this, they have the new holiday vibe event is underway. Participate in the holiday vibe events for a chance to obtain the new fortress decor sharks paradise. All right. So we have a holiday. We have holiday challenges. I got a bunch of stuff going on right now on last fortune. I like it. All right, so let's so let's see what we got. I mean, I, I can't say I like it because I don't know what it is yet. So we're gonna check it out together and see what we got. But I'm pretty sure that I will like it. All right, so during the event, commanders can gain points by consuming items to increase the challenge level, which will be reset after the event ends. There are no there are two types of challenge rewards: common and advanced rewards. Common rewards can be obtained by increasing points, while advanced war rewards can be obtained by purchasing and activating them. Purchasing and activate advanced rewards to get rare alliance presents. There are multiple ways to obtain um, items during the event, and you can participate in several events to obtain them. All right, so let's check this out here, guys. All right, so let me see. Use as many holiday drinks as you can to level up. All right, so it looks like if you're ranking, you're going to get all these little nice rewards up on the top. Diamonds, hero, elite medals and some combat recruitment, which I definitely want to get more of those, of course. All right, so it looks like I did whatever I had to make for the criteria here. So we're gonna go ahead and collect these rewards right here. And I think I made a mistake when I was like, getting ready to go to bed last night. I was just clicking on use and yeah. But anyway, if you run out, you can buy them for $5.99. I don't see a higher one. I think once you buy it, it's probably gonna go up. I'm not really sure, but you guys know how that goes. $4.99, $9.99, $19.99, 50 and then 100 usually but that's what it what the case is all right so i need to get these ones on the bottom oh here it is you can buy this all right so if you want to get these rewards here guys advance unlock advanced rewards to get you're going to get your lovely holiday name plate permanent oh finally now when it comes to permanent i'm okay with that but when it comes to the temporary stuff i'm just like nah i got a problem with that so you're gonna get 1800 percent benefits you get elite hero fragment you get six recruitment cards, which I need for recruitment day, coming up pretty soon in a couple days. And then combat recruitment points. And then of course, hero elite metal. Oh, you get a lot of stuff. You get speed ups, eight hours each. You get training and you got building speed ups. So that is not a bad thing, guys, especially if your chat is gonna change permanently. I kind of like that. I'm probably gonna end up getting that. All right, so once you get these things here, the drinks, I guess you have to keep using these things here. If, we, if you get the drinks, you can go all the way. Oh, you can get the nameplate. Oh, you have to get the, you have to get the nameplate. You don't just get it. I guess once you get the reward. So if you're free to play guys, you get the top tier, which is the basic. And if you guys pay the $19.99, which I'm pretty sure I will, you're gonna get the advanced. All right. And then when you get the criteria, like levels and stuff like that, which is level six is the nameplate. So I have to get to level six to be able to unlock the nameplate. And I have six days at the time of this recording to do so. All right, there we go. So I, I, I kind of get it now. So you have a max of 15 stages here, it looks like. Okay, so that is not bad. All right, so then we've got the holiday perks. Holiday drinks might drop during your everyday activities. All right, so this is gonna go from today, 9-11, September 11th, all the way to September 18th. All right, so during the event, you have a chance to obtain items by performing corresponding actions. Because you're gonna ask, well, how do I get this, these little drinks to swill? All right, so you can obtain a limited number of items per day, the limit varies each uh, for each action. The action required for each holiday of, or each event may vary. Please read through the rules for specific info. All right, so if I kill zombies, which I will do later on, because right now it's, it's, it's gather day, so I'm obviously, I think when one of my trucks come back, I'm gonna go ahead and hurry up and kill zombies just so I can get this. But I'm it's gathering day, so this is definitely not gonna happen. So this is a bust today. Um, gather resources, which we're doing right now. We're gonna get that one off the bat and then kill or grievously wound other soldiers. And there's a couple places around my base right now that are dead. Some dead level 30 bases, I'm going to be hitting them up pretty hardcore. So that is that. That's how you get your drinks, guys. 
And of course, if you want to buy some stuff, there you go on the plus. Hit that $5. And also we have the holiday quest. All right, so complete daily missions to receive holiday drinks. Some drinks. Of course, we already got that. So let's go over the facts. Complete missions during the event to get tons of rewards. Mission will reset regularly during the event. Once they are reset, commanders may complete the missions to gain and receive rewards. All right, so honestly, guys, I think this is, so far, it's so good. I honestly like this event right here. You just finish whatever you got to finish, and then you get your drinks. All right, so next we got to do defeat 20 zombies, which we'll do that. Like I said, it's gathering day. When one of my trucks come back, we'll go ahead and knock that out. One or two trucks come back. I think I have like six or seven more hours left. Um, rally to kill mutated zombies. I got to wait for my lines for that. Um, complete one expedition. Okay, we could do that. We haven't done it yet. Use a total of 500 minute speed ups. Okay, we could do that. Perform 10 combat recruitments. Oh, yeah, I gotta do that for the daily anyway. So that's gonna double up. So I'm gonna get it for this event and I'm gonna get it for my daily. So that's amazing right there. Okay, defeat 500 enemy soldiers. It's not kill day anymore. Damn. And I think, well, actually this week we should still have this. Um, spend a thousand diamonds, too easy, too easy. And then log on today. And we did that already. So that's, that's easy peasy, man. So let's keep on going here with this. Once we get these drinks, we'll be good to go. But that's the event in a nutshell, guys. So far, so good. I mean, honestly, this is a good one. I think the whole 1999, I think, honestly, I'm not going to lie to you guys. I think that's a pretty good value, I think. All right. I don't really say a lot of things are good value, but I think that is a good value because you get a different nameplate and you have a chance to look different. Unless you're with a whole bunch of spenders, then you all are going to look the exact same. But how bad is it really? Let me know in the comments, guys. Shout, sound off in the comments what you guys think about this event. Will you be purchasing it or will you not? Are you still playing it or are you not? Or well, when I say playing it, are you still playing this game or are you not? Let me know in the comments. Your Uncle Squill wants to hear from you. Peace out.